Hi there, my name is Cliff Garrett and I grew up on Mercer Island. I went to uh, Lake Ridge Elementary School. I went to South Mercer Junior High and then I went to the high school. And I've always loved video games and I have many, many consoles. Right here is a collection of some of the consoles. And we're gonna talk to uh, how to be gamer and which three consoles are most important to me and why. And so let's go through that right now. Um, one of my very first consoles, and that's why it's very important to me, was the Super Nintendo. Enter this is the second Nintendo console that existed in the US. And I bought this brand new. This is the very console. And I have a bunch of games. And the reason this is so important it was a part of my social life. I lived with three other people in a house and we played rock and roll racing, three Vikings. We played a whole ton of games every night. And that's what we did to have fun with each other when we were at the house, when we weren't working. Uh, so it was a really wonderful console, spent a lot of hours on it. And uh, I think it's been a very popular console as well. They even did a remake of it recently little mini console and it has all the games built into it and it hooks up to modern TVs super cheap and that's kind of fun too now the second console that is really important um, had some very interesting significance was the Nintendo 64 I bought this brand new in about 19 no 2000 year 2000 Redmond Town Center and I remember I was working in product support services at Microsoft for a long time. And I real I heard the rumors that Microsoft was gonna make an Xbox. And I thought to myself, I wonder if I could ever get a job in the Xbox group working on this secret product. So I thought about it all the time and I was big into PC gaming at that time and loved it. And so a, a buddy of mine, said you want to interview in the xbox group out of nowhere and i was like heck yeah i do and so i interviewed and i got the job and the very first thing i did is i had to get my gaming skills back so i bought a nintendo 64 a whole bunch of really amazing games like uh, super mario 64 3d graphics it was an amazing system and and this is a, a later release of it. It's translucent green. And I played the heck out of this while I started my Xbox job so I could get my skills back, get familiar with games. And so this is another very important console, a really important stage in my career. All right, the third significant or important console in my life is the Xbox, the original Xbox. It's kind of big, and this one's special because it's green. It's got Bill Gates' fake signature right here in the jewel. And this one's super special because I helped make this one. When I first started in the Xbox group, we were gonna make the first console. And I originally, worked with developers and publishers on doing the audio and some of the low level development work to make their games work well on our console. And, and I just loved that. And I worked in a group called the Advanced Technology Group, which is kind of like a product support group, but we are only supporting developers and publishers. And this was back um, I started July 2000, and it was a real, so it's 20 years ago, a special time, really awesome console, made a lot of friends, and I'm still in that Xbox group today, 20 years later, um, and we've done three different console releases and about to do another one this summer, or this uh, summer for us, but it comes out uh, this, this holiday time. That's when people will be able to purchase it. But this one is super special. It's, it's Microsoft's first really console, and it was a very advanced console, and we were competing with industry veterans, Sony and Nintendo, 
and it was going to be our very first console to compete with those guys. And we learned a lot. And we did as good as we could. It was pretty successful. People really loved it, especially people in the Seattle area. But uh, I think mainly it, it, it has such great uh, memories for me and for even gamers that a U.S. developed console from a, a familiar company was able to just get a foothold in the industry. And it's, it's, uh, it was super important for the company too because it allows us to develop a few more consoles and become a very big player in the industry. And so you can see again, I have a whole ton of consoles, all different uh, manufacturers from Sega, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, modern consoles, handheld consoles, micro consoles, and uh, I just love them. And, and this is how you can be a gamer. <laughs>